Welcome to World News. The content of the briefing includes. MSCI cut swath of China stocks from indexes as markets slump. Hybrids in US, Europe reward Toyota and Honda as EV sales slow. Retail traders are losing billions in India's booming options market. Myanmar's shadow government pressures overseas job agencies. A more integrated place, local students share how they celebrate Lunar New Year in their community. MSCI cut swath of China stocks from indexes as markets slump. Bloomberg. MSCI has announced that it will be removing 66 Chinese companies from its global benchmarks due to concerns over China's struggling property sector and weak consumption. This is the largest number of deletions in at least two years and reflects the negative sentiment surrounding Chinese stocks as investors reduce their exposure to the country. The news comes as China's weighting in global portfolios is decreasing and as alternatives such as India are becoming more prominent. Hybrids in US, Europe reward Toyota and Honda as EV sales slow. Nikkei Asia. Japanese automakers are seeing rising demand for hybrid vehicles as sales of electric vehicles, EVs, slow in major markets. The shift reflects consumer demand for an intermediary option between traditional cars and EVs. While EV growth has slowed in the US and Europe, demand for hybrids, spurned on by Toyota and Honda, is growing. Japanese automakers are being urged to leverage the benefits of hybrid sales to accelerate the launch of EVs in other key markets like China and Southeast Asia. However, analysts warn that Japanese companies' delay in launching EVs could cost them market share in key regions. Retail traders are losing billions in India's booming options market. Bloomberg. India is home to the world's largest retail options trading market. Retail investors in India are increasingly turning to options trading as a way to make quick money, despite the high risks involved. In 2023, Indian investors traded 85 billion options contracts, more than anywhere else in the world. The country has topped the charts since 2019 when it first overtook the US in the volume of annual trades. The rise of options trading is fueled by influencers who promote the idea of making quick profits in the stock market. Promoters charge fees for courses and often make recommendations in private Telegram or WhatsApp groups that regulators struggle to police. Indian regulators are concerned that regular investors are bypassing traditional investment strategies and engaging in pure speculation. The Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI, says that 90% of active retail traders lose money trading options and other derivatives. In the year ended March 2022, investors lost $5.4 billion. A majority of retail investors in India trade options for less than 30 minutes. This trend is concerning for regulators who believe that retail investors are not properly educated about the risks involved in options trading. Myanmar's shadow government pressures overseas job agencies. Nikkei Asia. Myanmar's shadow government, the National Unity Government, NUG, has accused employment companies of assisting the military regime in collecting taxes from Myanmar workers who have fled abroad. The NUG designated the government-backed organization overseeing recruitment agencies sending workers overseas as an illegal association and accused it of collaborating with the military junta. The NUG condemned the taxation of overseas workers' income, stating that the funds primarily go towards purchasing weapons and ammunition. The NUG warned recruitment agencies found to be complicit in these activities would be blacklisted and prosecuted under counter-terrorism laws. However, the impact of the NUG's statement remains uncertain. A more integrated place, local students share how they celebrate Lunar New Year in their community. Yahoo! The Lunar New Year is a time of reflection and hope for good fortune in many Asian communities. It starts on the first new moon of the lunar calendar and ends 15 days later on the first full moon. This year, the Lunar New Year began on February 10, 2024 also marks the Year of the Dragon, one of the Chinese zodiac animals, representing strength, courage, and good luck. For the Orlando community, it's a time to come together, even if you are unfamiliar with Asian cultures. Colin Poon, co-president of Reach of Central Florida and an Apopka High School senior, said more non-Asian people are going to festivities, making it more of a community event rather than just an Asian event. I think that definitely helps in terms of helping out Asian American businesses and bringing a broader clientele, he said. But it also helps in terms of cultural awareness and you know, that broad spectrum of how do we become aware and accepting of other people and other ethnic groups. People lined the Mills 50 District to see Sunday's 11th Annual Central Florida Dragon Parade. People lined the Mills 50 District to see Sunday's 11th Annual Central Florida Dragon Parade. People lined the Mills 50 District to see Sunday's 11th Annual Central Florida Dragon Parade. People lined the Mills 50 District to see Sunday's 11th Annual Central Florida Dragon Parade. 
people lined the Mills 50 District to see Sunday's 11th Annual Central Florida Dragon Parade. People lined the Mills 50 District to see Sunday's 11th Annual Central Florida Dragon Parade. Local Asian organizations pack Orlando for the Central Florida Dragon Parade Lunar New Year. Local Asian organizations pack Orlando for the Central Florida Dragon Parade Lunar New Year. Local Asian organizations pack Orlando for the Central Florida Dragon Parade Lunar New Year. Local Asian organizations pack Orlando for the Central Florida Dragon Parade Lunar New Year. Local Asian organizations pack Orlando for the Central Florida Dragon Parade Lunar New Year. Local Asian organizations pack Orlando for the Central Florida Dragon Parade Lunar New Year. Local Asian organizations pack Orlando for the Central Florida Dragon Parade Lunar New Year. Local Asian organizations pack Orlando for the Central Florida Dragon Parade Lunar New Year. Local Asian organizations pack Orlando for the Central Florida Dragon Parade Lunar New Year. Local Asian organizations pack Orlando for the Central Florida Dragon Parade Lunar New Year. Local Asian organizations pack Orlando for the Central Florida Dragon Parade Lunar New Year. Poon has also been a major part of leading the Central Florida Dragon Parade Lunar New Year. He said the hard work pays off when he sees the fruit of his labor, the performers, and the overall excitement. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Sixth Dimension. Today, we covered a range of topics from the removal of Chinese companies from global benchmarks to the rise of options trading in India, the pressure on overseas job agencies in Myanmar, and the celebration of Lunar New Year in the Orlando community. Let's dive into these stories and see what they tell us about the world we live in. First, we discussed MSCI's decision to remove 66 Chinese companies from its global benchmarks. This reflects the negative sentiment surrounding Chinese stocks as investors reduce their exposure to the country. China's struggling property sector and weak consumption are major concerns. As China's weighting in global portfolios decreases, alternatives like India are becoming more prominent. Next, we explored the rise of hybrid vehicles in the US and Europe as sales of electric vehicles, EVs, slow. Japanese automakers like Toyota and Honda are capitalizing on this trend, as consumers seek an intermediary option between traditional cars and EVs. However, analysts caution that Japanese companies' delay in launching EVs could cost them market share in key regions like China and Southeast Asia. Moving on, we delved into the booming options trading market in India. Retail investors are increasingly turning to options trading as a way to make quick money, despite the high risks involved. Influencers promoting the idea of quick profits in the stock market have fueled this trend. Regulators are concerned that regular investors are engaging in pure speculation without fully understanding the risks. Education about the risks involved in options trading is crucial to ensure the protection of retail investors. Shifting our focus to Myanmar, we learned about the shadow government's pressure on overseas job agencies. The National Unity Government accuses these agencies of assisting the military regime in collecting taxes from Myanmar workers who have fled abroad. The shadow government warns that agencies found complicit in these activities will be blacklisted and prosecuted. The impact of this statement remains uncertain. Lastly, we celebrated the Lunar New Year and the sense of community it brings, even for those unfamiliar with Asian cultures. In the Orlando community, non-Asian people are participating in festivities, making it more of a community event rather than just an Asian event. This not only supports Asian American businesses but also fosters cultural awareness and acceptance. In conclusion, the world is ever-changing, and these new stories highlight the diverse and dynamic nature of our global landscape. From the challenges faced by Chinese stocks to the rise of options trading in India, each story presents unique insights and perspectives. As always, I encourage you, my esteemed viewers, to share your thoughts, ideas, and questions. What are your thoughts on these topics? I eagerly await your contributions from the sixth dimension. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.